Yeah, so there's really no easy way to kind of lead into this video without, you know, just kind of getting right to it. So you guys see the title, you know what we're talking about. It's a pretty bad time right now in other parts of the world. And all of my thoughts obviously go out to those that are being affected by any and all of this crap that's happening. So let's just get into it. <laughs> What's going on guys, it's your boy Ooch, and of course we are back again, once again, with another update to some superhero greatness, but like I said in the intro, this really isn't too great for those that are affected by what's going on. So this comes from IGN, this was actually an article that came out last week but there's been some updates to it so i still think it's a little bit uh, more on the relevant side especially since i do cover some superhero stuff on this channel i will go over some of this article and then give you guys my thoughts on what i think about it major hollywood studios have begun pausing their film releases in russia including the batman morbius and more following the invasion of ukraine and since like i said there's updates to this so i will give you guys some of those other names that pulled out from russia yesterday disney announced that it would pull us th all theatrical releases in russia due to the unprovoked invasion of ukraine and the tragic humanitarian crisis quote we will make future business decisions based on the evolving situation added disney in the meantime, given the scale of emerging refugee crisis, we are working with our NGO partners to provide urgent aid and other humanitarian assistance. There's been a few updates like I did mention that I'm going to go over now. The rest of the article you guys can read for yourselves. I will always include that link in the description as always. So this update happened on March the 2nd. Paramount has now joined other major studios in pulling its movies from release in Russia, including Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Quote, as we witness the ongoing tragedy in Ukraine, we have decided to pause the theatrical release of our upcoming films in Russia, including The Lost City and Sonic the Hedgehog 2. We stand by all those impacted by the humanitarian crisis across Ukraine, Russia, and our international markets, and will continue to monitor the situation as it unfolds, reads a statement. And this comes from March 6th. As reported by Variety, Netflix has suspended its service in Russia following its announcement that it was pausing future projects and acquisitions from Russia. Netflix started offering its services in Russia in 2016, and it has a relatively small presence with roughly 1 million subscribers. Now, small presence or not, this is a service, and all of these pieces of media and entertainment are things that people that are within Ukraine and Russia, obviously, I mean, this is more about Russia because, you know, they're pulling their projects and things away from them in an act to pretty much be like, hey, like, stop trying to do this crazy shit in Ukraine. Like, what are you doing? And that's totally understandable. And notice they're not like doing it in a forceful manner either. What they're doing is they're pulling them out, but they are monitoring the situation. So that way, hopefully sooner than later, when all of this comes to a close, and I'm hoping it's a very peaceful one, that in time, these things will start migrating back to Russia. And these are just a few things. Like I said, I'm covering this on this channel because there was something that relates to the content that I do here on this channel, being like movies and whatnot, superhero stuff and whatever. And I, this, I know for a fact that outside of just that, this is affecting a lot of other things. I just saw on Twitter the other day that a girl who was a Twitch streamer, apparently Twitch just decided to remove payouts to their Russian Twitch streamers. It's a crazy situation because even though this is like a Russian thing, not all Russians are about what's going on with, you know, their higher ups and their you know, leaders that are making these decisions behind doing what they're doing in Ukraine. Like I said, it's affecting even those that are literally on the side of stop invading, you know, we're trying to live peacefully and all this kind of stuff. It's affecting those types of people as well. And that really sucks. Imagine like you're literally against all of this, you know, tyranny and everything and you wake up and the next thing you know, you can't watch any movies, you can't watch Netflix, you can't even look forward to seeing anything that was originally planned to release in your country, and like, it's just all gone. So, and that must make people feel really bad. So like I said, this video was kind of, was basically just to give you guys an update that it's even, you know, all this stuff that's going on in the world is even affecting some of the stuff that we enjoy. And I'm sure that a lot of us take for granted, like, you know, it's expected. Real situations like this can happen out 
in other parts of the world and it can get taken away from even the some of the innocent which really sucks again like i said i really do hope that all of this gets situated and works out for you know everyone i really do hope russia like stops with this going on in ukraine again i don't want to get political at all with this video but i do want to say that my thoughts and prayers are for everyone that's being affected by this in ukraine and those in russia as well with all that being said guys make sure you guys are leaving a like sharing the video commenting down below your thoughts on all this stuff that i just went over again just a reminder a link and uh, it will be in the description to this ign article that reported on this and make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves may the power protect you keep it locked loaded right here on this channel stay safe stay clean stay inside i'll see you guys next time